Well guys, it's official. Matt and I are starting TTC. I am sitting here holding Rory's little bunny. <laughs> One of his favorite stuffed animals. He's actually napping upstairs. He's on the little baby monitor here. So for some of you guys who don't know what TTC is, basically it stands for trying to conceive. So we are gonna be trying for baby number two and I am so excited. I thought that I would kind of film this because I notice on a lot of the mom forums that I follow, a lot of people have questions about IUD removal and pregnancy. So basically I'm just gonna talk from my experience Everybody's experience is different. I am not a professional like at all. I am just talking about myself My hopes my dreams my thoughts and how things worked for us with baby number one So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kelsey. I am a mom and a wife My husband's name is Matt. My son's name is Rory and he is our first and only child as of right now so let's get right into kind of the whole backstory of my last IUD removal. So I had an IUD placed when Matt and I recently started dating. And so I had it in for a couple of years before we decided to have it removed. So we were getting married in September of 2017. So in August, no, July, <laughs> July 28th, of 2017 we had our IUD removed and three weeks later I was pregnant <laughs> we were not even trying to be honest because we wanted to wait until after our wedding to get pregnant not that you know it mattered or that our family would judge us differently but just for us we wanted to wait until we were married but it happened a little bit beforehand which I had no idea at my wedding that I was pregnant. It wasn't until a few days after my wedding that I could tell something was off and tested and it was positive. But for us, it took three weeks for me to get pregnant for my first IUD removal, which for some of you, you're going to be thinking, wow, that was quick. And it was. We were very, very fortunate. I know that I, I personally know a couple people that it took nine to 14 months for them to get pregnant coming off of an IUD removal. Um, so everybody's experience is different. So again, I am just speaking from our own experience. So flash forward to Rory being born, my six week follow up, they asked what I wanted to do about birth control and Matt and I decided that the IUD was best for me. For me, getting the IUD placed Usually it's a couple weeks of soreness, just kind of like an annoying period 24 seven without bleeding. Thankfully, I didn't have any of those bleeding issues. And when I have my IUD, um, both the one before Rory and after Rory, I actually never got my periods. And I'm somebody who has horrendous periods. So that was another benefit of getting that. So flash forward to now, and I actually just called my doctor's office and made an appointment for, drum roll please, Brrr. Friday, October 25th. I am so excited. So we are going to get it removed right before Halloween, and I guess if trends follow for this pregnancy, we'd be pregnant around Thanksgiving, and that would be ideal. I want an August baby really bad. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, I just want a healthy baby. And so if it doesn't happen right away, that's okay. So this is the test that Matt and I have decided is probably going to be best for us. Again, I am just basing this off of my last experience. And because I never got my period this whole time I've had my birth control in and the last time I had the birth control removed, I also never got a period. So it was very hard to estimate when I was ovulating. So I don't wanna buy a test kit that only comes with 10 or 12 strips. I wanna buy one that comes with something more, like this one comes with 25 test strips. So this will definitely be an entire month that I can check my ovulation 
and whatnot once we have it removed. It is super wallet friendly at $9.95. There are very positive reviews on this. There are just on this one particular place it has 376 reviews at four and a half stars. Um, and then there, this brand, which is Pregmate, uh, has them on, um, what are some of the other places? There's, it's on Amazon. Target. There's a few different places that sell it and they all have several hundred reviews again above four stars. So I'm going to go ahead and order this one. Um, it is cheapest through Walmart so I will just order it and then pick it up. And the fun thing is, side note, it is I could get it for delivery on October 10th which happens to be my birthday. So is that a sign? I don't know. <laughs> so I won't have my birth control removed at this point, but I just want to have the kit and everything ready for when I do have it removed that we can start tracking right away. Okay guys, so I pulled up Pregmate on Amazon and as you can see, there's a bunch of different like packages. So you can buy a hundred ovulation test strips and 50 pregnancy tests or, you know, different sizes. Um, of boxes, but as you can see like this one has 1,390 positive reviews at four and a half stars So I definitely feel like this is a good starting point for us is this brand and whatnot So I think we will go ahead and continue with this but I thought that I would kind of start this little blurb for you guys um, so that maybe if you are trying to conceive or are newly pregnant or in your pregnancy journey or just about to start your pregnancy journey that we can do it together and talk about the frustrations, the ups, the downs, the emotions and everything like that. So I hope that you will continue to follow along with us. If you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Make sure to click the red subscribe button below. And if you definitely want to be joining me in this series, make sure to click the thumbs up so that I know there are people interested in this series. So my battery light is flashing at me and I've talked for a few minutes now. So I figure I will close this out for right now and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.